how is it possible that many people, including me, have overlooked this watch? I'm happily admitting that I'm a big fan of Longines and especially fond of the Heritage line. And so I was very surprised this morning that the Longines Conquest Heritage Power Reserve was under my radar, despite the signature of that long name. And now, as always, let's begin with the basic specifications. We have an automatic watch with a case diameter of 38mm, a length of 45mm, height of 12.3 and a lug width of 19mm. As the video thumb suggests, this watch comes with a modern set of parts, so with the sapphire crystal and the very interesting caliber L896.5, more of that later. You can choose between three dial colors, cream, gray and black. All versions come on a leather strap and the price is 4200 euros including VAT or 3800 US dollars without VAT. So let's go back first. What you see here is the reissue of a watch from 1959 that looked pretty much like this. It was with 35 millimeters smaller but also had this very special date on position 12 and the power indicator in the center. Back then a top notch feature. The date position wasn't super special. In fact you find this placement on many watches from the 50s from Longines but also for example made by Omega. I will focus a bit on the cream dial because it's in my opinion the most convincing color here. It goes so well with these golden elements of the syringe type of hands and the indices and the fonts, just beautiful. And they managed to produce an equilibrated and calm impression with a lot of complexity. Note the Longines logo writing please, the conkers, the automatic and the numerals of the scale. Different fonts, with serifs, without serifs, one italic font, so very complex, but in total an incredibly well done typography. By the way, the scale of the power reserve goes from 0 over 64. Why is that? That's because of the movement. The L896.5 offers a power reserve of 72 hours, which is located at the dot between 64 and 4. Usually these Longines caliber numbers are just another name for an ETA movement. And in fact, this is also an ETA, but manufactured only for Longines. So we are close to an in-house caliber. By the way, with a rather unusual beat rate of 25,200, that staggering power reserve and a silicon balance spring. So in my eyes, a perfect combination of old school look, but well done and modern technology. What I also like is the case size, these 38mm that you find often with Longines. Very nice dress watch size, suitable for many wrists. And I can tell you that they were slightly bigger because of the narrow bezel and the dominant dial. One of my older videos is about the regular Conquest and the flagship and I think there you can see it pretty well. A weakness is the 90mm lug width. They do this very often. I'm not a fan of it, but I have to give them that the ratio case diameter slash lug width works here again. Next weakness, lugs itself. Very thick and bold. The original Conkers had smaller lugs, angled a bit to the inside. That could be very bad for the strap, but the look was more elegant. This here looks clearly modernized, but okay, might be my personal taste. Same goes for the crown. I personally find it too bold, too modern, but perhaps other people see it as adequate and well chosen. Let me know in the comments, by the way, what do you think about the dial colors? I have the feeling that the cream is drastically better than the other versions, but again, might be taste. Last point, the price, 4,200 euros. That's sad news and I could mark that as a minus, but let's not be naive. When a company can charge that sort of money, it would be stupid not to do it. Design, components and brand are fantastic and so we have to accept this price tag or we just wait a year or so for the first used models. Alright, that's all. Let me know what you think about this watch please and then let's meet again here next Monday to watch of the week.